Well, good morning. It is a gorgeously sunny day here in Edinburgh, and I just wanted to show you a few additions to my living room. And I just thought that I would grab the phone and start recording. Usually I film with a proper camera and a tripod, but this sunshine, which I know will disappear very quickly because that's what happens. I just thought that it looked so great that I had to film very fast. So you may recognize that there is a new mirror here on the fireplace. And this has been gifted to me from my good friend Nathan Rowlinson. It was in his townhouse apartment. He has really huge ceilings, probably double the size of this one because he's on the first floor. So he's had a new mirror, much bigger than that one, which looks more in keeping and more in scale. So he gifted me this one. So this, as you can see, it's kind of painted grey wood and it's from ochre. And even though I think it looks really beautiful the way it is, in this room, because the walls are kind of that similar grey painted colour, it kind of gets lost and blends in a little bit too much. So I'm thinking of a plan to give it a little bit of a makeover. And I just think that this room could do with a little bit of gold. So there is a little bit of brassy gold in this photo, in this uh, painting here. And I was going to paint that, but I, after listening to your advice, I changed my mind and I'm going to keep that the way it is. But I think that this mirror could be a really bright, beautiful, gilded kind of French look. And I've been researching some ways to do that. And I think the best way, on Amazon, you can buy gold foil sheets. So obviously not real gold, because that would be very, very expensive. But you can, you can buy imitation gold foil and make this look properly gilded. So I have ordered that on Amazon, and I want to give it a go. And I just think that this mirror looks really great in the room. It kind of adds a height. And... Everything else kind of in this room has very straight lines. We have straight lines there on these pictures. This painting has straight lines. The fireplace has straight lines. The bookcase, the sideboard, the stool, it's all very straight. So to have something which has curves and scrolls and is a little bit more intricate and fancy, I think is a nice contrast to everything else. And then once it is painted in the gilding, I think it will just look really glamorous and will fit very well into the room. It will add a nice touch to the room and just bring it all together in a special way. And then over here, I wanted to share my two new lamps. So I've just got one of them off at the minute. But you remember when I did a visit to Restoration Hardware and I saw similar lamps to this. Well, I finally got these two lamps. And I have a friend in Belgium called Philip who makes beautiful things like this. And about four years ago when I first moved to Edinburgh, I'd seen some little lamps, much smaller than this one. And I spoke to him about it because I knew he was able to make this kind of thing. And I asked him to make me this bamboo lamp, which I've had since then, so for about four years. And at the time, I actually sold these on my website, um, and I sold quite a lot of them. Because you can get them from a few different places, but they're lit this lamp sells for about £600 per piece, and this is a small one. And the taller ones sell for about £1,200 each, which is way out of my budget. So I was selling my little lamps, I think for £150 each, and they sold really well. But it came a bit, became a bit of a logistic nightmare for me at the time. I wasn't really set up for that, and I started my YouTube channel, so I stopped doing it. But I asked Philip to make me two tall lamps, which he's done, and they are really beautiful. I love the scale. They go really well on the sideboard. I love the modern edition of the chrome, and I just think they're very, very chic. And I am thinking of maybe seeing if it's possible to start selling these on nicholasfairford.com as well. 
it's just a case of shipping them across the world and to various different places without being damaged. But I am thinking of that because I've already got loads of inquiries from friends and people who want a pair of these now that they've seen mine. So I think that they're really, really beautiful and I love them on the bar there. Now, you may have heard that I've stopped drinking. It's actually eight weeks today that I haven't drank, so I've still got my full supplies of rum here. This is actually an alcohol-free um, gin that I tried and that's all gone. I've kept the bottle because I want to buy another one and I want to make sure that um, I'm choosing the right one again. And that, I actually would recommend that because it does taste quite nice. It's not really like having a gin and tonic, but when you're tired of drinking soda water with lime, that does add a little bit of something. But that's going off topic. I really wanted to show the lamps, which I'm really in love with. And these are cordless lamps. So I have them plugged in at the moment, but you can unplug them. I think they charge and they last for about eight hours once you've unplugged them. So yeah, you can put these anywhere in the room. So let's try it on here. <clears throat> and they just switch on here and you've got instant light. So they're great for picnics, dinner parties outside. Really, really useful to have an elegant lamp that won't blow out like candles do and that they're so versatile that you can move them around. So I really do love these. And I would love to hear your thoughts. But yeah, I think that they are a really wonderful solution. Thank you, Philip, for making them. And uh, yeah, so the living room has two new additions, the lamps and the mirror. And I really want to get started on gilding that piece. I've never done that before. Let me just say hello, by the way. Yeah, I've never done that before. So I've got no idea how it will turn out. But I will show you a picture on screen now of the kind of thing that I'm looking for to finish. So it's not too much of a bright gold. It kind of looks antique -y. It has a little bit of a dark undertone just to give it that age. But yes, yeah, something impressive, a little bit extravagant just to lift the room. And I think it would work really well there. So, I'm going to do this with a little kit that I got from Amazon, this one, uh, and in here we have 100 pieces of gold foil, two brushes, we have a gilding adhesive which is water based, what we do is we apply this to the frame and we leave it for 30 minutes to stick, to get tacky, and then you can start brushing on your gold leaf. So it seems quite simple. Then we're supposed to leave it to dry for 24 hours and then apply the varnish. And hopefully the varnish will give it more of an aged look. I don't really want to have a really bright gold that looks fake and tacky. So I am going to get started. I'm really ooh, looking forward to giving this a go. Hopefully it will turn out well. Let's give it a try. So to begin, I'm going to be using this gilding adhesive. So as this is water-based, it goes on really well with the brush. It's nice and loose and you can apply it just a bit like cream. It's the consistency of cream, so you can get in all, to, in all of the nooks and crannies and really make sure that you're coating it well. The other good thing about this adhesive is that when you apply it to your surface, it kind of has a purple lavender color, so you know where you've already applied. And then you know when it's dry because that color disappears and um, it's ready to start applying the gold leaf. I've decided that I'm going to work in sections, so I will just do this top section first so that it has chance to dry and then we can apply the gold leaf. I think if I applied this adhesive to the whole thing, 
By the time that I've applied one area of gold leaf, it might have dried too much and then it won't stick. So I am just going to work in sections, starting with this one. I will let it dry and then apply the gold leaf and then start moving on to the next section. I waited about 15 minutes and then decided to start applying the gold leaf, which was a mistake because as you can see, I'm applying it and only a little part of the leaf is actually sticking. The rest is being brushed away and that is because the wood has not had enough time to for the adhesive to stick and really latch on so the gold isn't sticking either. So my advice is to make sure you follow the instructions and do wait the full 30 minutes before applying your gold leaf. I then decided to apply multiple gold leaf sheets onto the mirror rather than doing them individually and then just dabbing them in. Actually this turned out to work really well, especially later on when I let the adhesive dry for 30 minutes and this is the way that you're supposed to do it. So as with learning new things you always learn the hard way and I made myself waste a bit of time but that is okay it's all a learning curve and as you can see it is looking quite nice this gold it just isn't sticking very well but that is because of the mistake that I made so do t bear in mind again make sure you leave it to dry for at least 30 minutes so here you can see that when you leave the glue to dry for the proper amount of time you get a much better result. I left this to dry for about 35 minutes and the gold leaf has completely attached itself to the wood. It is not flaking off and you rub the brush across like this and you're getting a beautiful finish. And now I'm working on the next side section. I'm just taking all of our gold leaf and applying it liberally so that it covers the entire piece of wood. I would say that if you want to create a more sparse, natural look, learning from my mistake, don't cover every single piece of wood that you can see because then you are going to get full coverage. If you want to just highlight some of the details of your piece, then leave some of the original wood exposed and that won't be covered in the gold leaf. I think if I'd have done that, it would have looked a lot better in the end, but I am quite pleased with the result anyway. And if you do want to have this full liberal look, applying the sheets all in one go is definitely the best way to do this because you're getting a really nice coverage and it just kind of speeds up the process. So what I particularly love about trying something new is that you learn how to do it properly and it just reiterates the fact that making mistakes is all about learning and growth. So when you do make a mistake, it's a great reminder that that's fine because now you've learned something new. So in total, I had 200 gold sheets and I've just got this last section to do now. Also what I'm doing is, at first I was being very precious about the way that I put this on. Now I'm just, as you can see, really just getting the brush into all of these little crevices as just very casual as possible. 
and I like the fact that the whole, not the whole, I like the fact that not all of the surface is completely covered in the gilding because it would look too much. And I like that you can see some of the gray coming through, which hasn't been stuck with the gold. So I'm actually quite pleased with the process so far. When I started the top here, I thought, well, this is just gonna take hours and hours and hours and millions of gold sheets. And I was just about to give up and go to my local DIY store to buy some gold paint. And then I thought, well, I've got this here now, can't really be bothered to go out again. So just give it a try. And I'm glad that I did because this look is a lot better than if I just painted the whole thing with gold paint. It would be too precise. It would look a little bit fake, unnatural. Whereas this is giving a really nice antique finish. Just what I was looking for. And at the minute, I'm thinking that it, the gold isn't too, it's very bright, but because you've got all of that gray coming through and it's quite sporadic, it doesn't look too much and it, it's a nice effect. Ta-da! So, as I suspected, it actually looks a little bit too gold. Uh, the look that I was going for was this aged look. And at the top where I started, because I didn't do it properly, actually that technique was probably better for the look that I was going for because the, the gold leaf didn't attach to a lot of the pieces of wood. So you're only getting like a little coverage and then the, the most thing that you can see is the grey wood coming through, which actually I like a little bit better. Whereas here, where I, managed, where I figured out that I was not le leaving the glue to dry long enough um, and I did it properly, the gold is completely covering these areas and it's very intense. But it's not an issue, I can use some Annie Sloan dark wax and what you do is you just rub that on and then you can choose how much you want to apply and how much you want to take off to reach the desired effect. So that will work really well just to get that gold not so bright, shiny and new. That isn't the look I was going for. This is supposed to be an antique star mirror and if an antique gold mirror has been hanging in a house for two, three hundred years, it will have acquired some grime, some dust, and the shiny newness of it will definitely be worn away, which is when you get that burnished, bronzy gold. This is all shiny and new, so I am going to get some dark wax this week and apply this over the top, and that will really just soften it all down, stop it from being so shiny and new, and give me more of the look that I was going for. So I will do that this week and include it in the next video for you to see. And I'll also post it on uh, Instagram for you to see as well. But I have to say that the gold leaf effect was really fun to try out. Um, I do think it's a better effect than just painting because you get to, as I mentioned before, really decide how much you want to apply and um, where and also it's just a fun process to learn something new and even though it's not a real gold leaf it's an old technique and uh, I always wanted to give it a go so I am glad that I did and I think I will definitely do it again in the future it is so simple and easy as I'm sure you can tell from watching 
But uh, yeah, if, you, if you're thinking of giving it a go, please do. It is fun, it's quite therapeutic, and you get a nice result in the end, which is very satisfying.